All right, everyone. Um, the last time I filmed this, it really like messed up uh, the video, so I'm gonna like reshoot it here. Uh, this is how we mine Maza coin. Now, if you remember, we used to be a SHA-256 algo coin, so we used to have the usual miners that everyone associates with Bitcoin mining. Well, now we do everything right from the wallet. So let me show you how this works. First off, you're going to open the new wallet. Um, if you need help on the new wallet, we will have links in the description. So here we go. Now you're going to see a few things that are new here. So I find my mouse. There you are. All right. One of the things you're going to find is this where it says the hive. And you're going to see like your current hive um, down here and your B cost and everything else. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Hive and click on Hive. And this is going to set up the mining element for your wallet. Um, right here you're going to see the current B cost, which is 0.1 Maza. Um, and right here it's going to say Bs to create. Uh, where'd you go? There you go. Now, before you do that, before you get into this, you're going to want to come over here. You're going to want to take a look at this right here. This is what's called your global index. Global index, just like it says here, it's a measure of network bee population. What this means is how many bees are out there versus how many transactions are available to be processed. So... Um, if it's red like this, it's at 95. If it's at 100, um, it's the network saturated. Now, if you want to make more bees and just help out the network, you can. And that's really awesome. It looks like we've had it there for a while. So a lot of people are basically just making bees. You can see I have 100 here that are just there doing stuff. They last about seven days. Um, so I'll show you how to go ahead and, and make some right now. Let's make another 100 bees. So you're going to go right here to where it says bees to create. And let's go trying to film and type at the same time. Let's go 100. Okay, your total cost is going to be 100 or it's going to be 10 miles of coin plus the transaction fees. You're going to go right over here next to it. You're going to click on create bees. And you're going to get this little warning box pop up. It just tells you that the global index is high and that it might not be profitable. Um, tells you how much it's gonna cost you, it's 10 miles of coin. Um, it's gonna tell you as a transaction fee and gives you your total amount. So we're gonna click on yes. B is created. All right, and then it goes, send transaction. Okay. Um, bees will appear in your hive as soon as the transaction appears on the block. Now that can take a little bit. Um, it generally only takes uh, a couple minutes, but you'll see it down here in, in your hive. And it will tell you how long it will take before they expire. Um, it will tell you what the bee cost was. 10 Maza. So far they haven't done anything. Um, Yeah, you can go into options and kind of play around in the options section here. And this will just give you a lot of a lot of different options. I would say if you're just beginning and watching this video, I wouldn't worry about this right now. Um, it gives like a 15% of B fee to the community fund. The community fund helps us build and, um, and do things. So it gives you a lot of the options here. Um, a lot of this will change over time as we upgrade this and develop it. But for now, um, it's really basic. Um, but the good thing about this is we're not dealing with, thank you. We're not dealing with the energy usage. So we don't, we're not running big, uh, Standalone ASIC miners, which everyone's complaining about uh, using up, you know, ungodly amounts of energy.
But there in a nutshell is, you know, the basics of Mazakoi mining um, for the new era. This is our new hive mining setup. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to join the Discord. We're going to have links in the description below. Check down there. We'll have descriptions. So other than that, thank you much. Feel free to hit me up if you have any questions too. Always on. Or check out our Discord, uh, Mazda Tribe, on Telegram. Telegram is our most active link. So check us out.